What's going on everyone? Austin John Please here and today I'm going to be going over all 228 recipes in Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> As you can tell by the length of this video not being 228 minutes long, I'm going to be going through this quickly. But in order for the rest of the video to make sense, just, just hang out for this first minute where I'm going to explain stuff. A lot of these recipes, you could use any sort of substitute that you want. And in the beginning, I'm going to be talking about my specific replacement that I'm going to be using. I'm going to always go for the cheapest ingredients that you could possibly go for. I'm going to be telling you with words exactly what you can use and on screen is going to be what I did cook this specific meal with. And if you're not familiar with how this works, any sort of cooked dish that you have or charred food or anything else, click it, go to check recipe, and you're going to see what you just cooked a meal with. And at the top of every single one of these cards is the number that that card is. So as you're going through, you're going to be able to see which numbers that you are missing. If you're missing only a few, it's going to be pretty easy for you to tell which ones you need to cook. But if you're missing a lot of them, then I'd recommend hitting the little gear icon, slowing this video down to like 50% like half speed and then pausing frequently as you're going through if you're on desktop That's the letter K by the way on a US keyboard uh, Or the space bar K is a little bit more consistent and if you're on mobile you just tap the middle of the screen There you go all of the exact information and phrasing that I'm going to be going over is going to be from Ecolad's data mine That has then been transcribed into simple text and then I've sort of dumbed it down once again from there Anytime that you cook one or multiple mushrooms That's going to be a mushroom skewer as long as it is less less than four different mushrooms. Next is a meat and mushroom skewer, which is any mushroom and any meat. Anytime that I'm gonna be saying any meat, definitely recommend one simple piece of raw meat, just like you see here. Anytime it's a mushroom, one simple mushroom. Fish and mushroom skewer is one of any mushroom, one of any fish. Hyrule bass is my go-to for any fish. Meat skewer is any meats that you want to cook, any amount of them, as long as it's less than four different ones. A fish skewer is going to be one or more fish. There are some weird exceptions to this, like this one apple and this ancient aracuda that also produced a fish skewer. A seafood skewer is going to require a sneaky river snail or any of the three crabs as one ingredient and then one fish. My go-to crab or snail is always going to be the bright-eyed crab because I don't want to use that for cooking. And fish is either Hyrule Bass or H. Aracuda. Copious meat skewers are four different types of meat between the red meat and the poultry that you have in the game. Copious seafood skewers are four different types of fish. Steamed fruit is going to be one plant, which I always go to Hyrule Herbs for that. And any fruit, which my typical is going to be an apple. There are a few cases that you cannot use an apple. I will tell you what they are. Next is steamed tomato which is going to be any plant and a Hylian tomato. For that, I recommend just a Hyrule herb and a tomato. Steamed mushrooms is going to be any plant and any mushroom. You can make it with as simple as one and one as you see at the bottom. Steamed meat is going to be any meat and any plant, and you could totally use Hyrule herbs and raw meat cheap ingredients. Steamed fish is going to be any plant and any fish as you see here. Sauteed peppers are going to be one spicy pepper or more. Sauteed nuts is going to be one acorn and one chickaloo tree nut exact ingredients. Fried wild greens is going to be one or more plants. Copious fried wild greens is going to be four different types of plants. Cooked stand bulb is going to be one stand bulb. Buttered stand bulb is going to be one stand bulb or more and goat butter. Copious mushroom skewers is going to be four mushrooms. Spiced meat skewer is going to be one meat and one goron spice, followed by a version using prime meat and a version using gourmet meat. Crab stir fry is going to be any crab that you want and a goron spice. Meat and seafood fry is going to be one base level meat or raw bird drumstick and any fish, followed by a version using a second tier meat such as raw prime meat or raw bird thigh, followed by a gourmet version using gourmet meat or whole raw bird. Salt grilled greens is going to be one plant and one salt. Salt grilled mushrooms is going to be one mushroom and one salt. Salt grilled meat is going to be one base level meat such as raw meat or raw bird drumstick followed by one salt. And there is going to be a prime level for a tier two meat and a gourmet level for a three tier meat. Salt grilled fish is going to be any fish and salt. Salt grilled crab is going to be any crab and salt. Herb saute is going to be any plant and goron spice. Fragrant mushroom saute is going to be one mushroom and goron spice. Pepper steak is going to be one pepper and one meat. Peppered seafood is going to be any fish and one spicy pepper. Fragrant seafood stew is going to be any fish that you want, one stand bulb and one oil jar. A deep fried drumstick is going to be 
It's a chicken wing, so it's going to be one chicken drumstick and an oil jar. There is going to be a thigh version and a whole bird version. They only require the actual bird and one oil jar. Sifu menu is going to be any fish except for porgies and hearty salmon, followed by one goat butter and tabantha wheat. Then there's a porgy version and a salmon version requiring one porgy, butter wheat, one hearty salmon, butter and wheat. Fruit and mushroom mix is one mushroom and one fruit. Simmered fruit is going to be one or more fruits. Copious simmered fruits is going to be four different fruits. Simmered tomato is one tomato. Fruity tomato stew is going to be a Hylian tomato, fresh milk and rock salt, exact ingredients. Tomato mushroom stew is going to be any mushroom and one tomato. You can have multiple mushrooms or tomatoes. Tomato seafood soup is going to be any fish and one Hylian tomato. Cream of vegetable soup is going to be any plant, one rock salt and one fresh milk. Veggie cream soup is going to be any pumpkin or carrot, followed by one rock salt and one fresh milk. Cream of mushroom soup is going to be any one mushroom, which my go-to is definitely the glow shrooms because they are a dime a dozen. Any one plant, one rock salt and one fresh milk. Creamy meat soup is going to be any one meat, any one plant, rock salt and fresh milk. Creamy seafood stew is going to be any fish and any plant, rock salt and fresh milk. Snail chowder is going to be a sneaky river snail, one tabantha wheat, one fresh milk, and one goat butter, exact ingredients. Creamy heart soup is going to be any radish of the two, one volt fruit, one hydromelon, and one fresh milk, exact ingredients. Glazed veggies is going to be any one plant and one coarser bee honey. Glazed mushrooms is going to be one coarser bee honey and one mushroom. Glazed meat, one coarser bee honey and one meat. Glazed seafood, any fish and honey. Curry rice is going to be one Goron spice and one Hylian rice. One vegetable curry is going to be any pumpkin or a carrot, followed by one Hylian rice and one Goron spice. Meat curry is going to be one raw meat, one Hylian rice, and one Goron spice, exact ingredients. There's going to be a prime version using prime meat, a gourmet version using gourmet meat, a poultry version using raw bird drumsticks, a thigh version using a raw bird thigh, and a whole bird version using a whole bird. Seafood curry is going to be any porgy, any of the two, one Hylian rice and one Goron spice. Cheesy curry is going to be one Hylian rice, Hateno cheese, and Goron spice, which does require you to obtain Hateno cheese in Hateno Village and the, and the Mayor quest line. One carrot stew is going to be any one carrot, one goat butter, one fresh milk, and one Tabantha wheat. Exact ingredients. Pumpkin stew is going to be any one pumpkin, Tabantha wheat, fresh milk, and goat butter. Meat stew is going to be a base level meat, either raw meat or a raw bird drumstick, followed by a Tabantha wheat, fresh milk, and goat butter. There's going to be a prime version using prime meat and a gourmet version using a gourmet meat or a whole bird. Meat stuffed pumpkin is going to be any pumpkin and one meat. Vegetable risotto is going to be any pumpkin or carrot, followed by a Hylian rice, one rock salt, and one goat butter. Mushroom risotto is going to be any mushroom, one Hylian rice, one rock salt, one goat butter. One salmon risotto is going to be a hearty salmon, a Hylian rice, a rock salt, and a goat butter. A crab risotto is going to be any crab, one Hylian rice, one rock salt, and one goat butter. A cheesy risotto is going to be any fish or mushroom or plant. So lots of options there. I just used a Hyrule herb, followed by one Hateno cheese, one Hylian rice, and one rock salt. A country pilaf is going to be a raw bird drumstick, a Hylian rice, a bird egg, and a goat butter, exact ingredients. There's going to be a prime version using a thigh and a gourmet version using a whole bird. Seafood paella is going to be any porgy, one razor claw crab, or iron shell crab specifically, one Hylian rice, one goat butter, and one rock salt. This is a very specific dish that you have to get right. A curry pilaf is going to be a Goron spice, a Hylian rice, and one goat butter. Fried egg and rice is going to be, you guessed it, an egg and rice. <laughs> Crunchy fried rice is going to be any meat, one oil jar, one Hylian rice, and one bird egg. Seafood fried rice is going to be any porgy, one Hylian rice, and one rock salt. Crab omelet with rice is going to be any crab, one Hylian rice, one bird egg, and one rock salt. Meat and rice bowl is going to be a base level meat, a rice, and a rock salt. There's also going to be a prime version and a gourmet version. Cheesy meat bowl is going to be one raw meat, one Hylian rice, one Hateno cheese, and one rock salt, followed by a prime version and a gourmet version. Veggie rice balls is going to be any plant and rice. 
Mushroom rice balls is any mushroom and Hylian rice. Meaty rice balls is any meat and rice. Seafood rice balls is any fish and rice. Veggie porridge is gonna be any plant, any rice, and any milk. Wheat bread is gonna be a wheat and a rock salt. Melty cheesy bread, which sounds pretty awesome, is gonna be tabantha wheat, oil jar, and a tano cheese. A pizza. <laughs> is exactly what you think it is. It's gonna be wheat, it's gonna be cheese, and it's gonna be a tomato, there you go. A meat pie is gonna be any meat, one tabantha wheat, one goat butter, and one rock salt. A fish pie is gonna be any fish, one tabantha wheat, one goat butter, and one rock salt. Cheesy tomato is gonna be one Hylian tomato and one Hitano cheese. A cheesy baked fish is gonna be any fish you want, a Hitano cheese and an oil jar. An omelet is an egg. Vegetable omelet is going to be any plant, one bird egg, one goat butter, and rock salt. Mushroom omelet is gonna be any mushroom, one bird egg, one rock salt, and one goat butter. A cheesy omelet is gonna be any mushroom or plant, I just used a glow one for that. A Hitano cheese, a bird egg, and rock salt. A hot buttered apple is gonna be an apple or golden apple, and one goat butter. A honeyed fruit is going to be any fruit except an apple and one coarser bee honey because 118 is a honeyed apple which is specifically an apple and coarser bee honey exact ingredients. Although you could use a golden apple if you want. Cook one honey to get a honey candy. Fried bananas are gonna be mighty bananas, tabantha wheat and cane sugar exact ingredients. Egg pudding is gonna be a bird egg, a fresh milk, and cane sugar, exact ingredients. A plain crepe is gonna be a tabantha wheat, fresh milk, bird egg, and cane sugar, exact ingredients. A wild berry crepe is gonna be a tabantha wheat, fresh milk, bird egg, cane sugar, and wild berry. This is an exact dish that requires five exact ingredients. Same thing goes for a honey crepe, which is gonna be a tabantha wheat, fresh milk, bird egg, cane sugar, and coarser bee honey. Now we have a nut cake, you're a nut cake, is gonna be a tabantha wheat, goat butter, cane sugar, chickaloo tree nut, or acorn. Fruit cake is going to be, and I quote, one apple or wild berry or golden apple. Second ingredient is going to be an apple or wild berry or volt fruit or hydromelon or palm fruit or mighty bananas or golden apple. Third ingredient, cane sugar. Fourth ingredient, tabantha wheat. I don't know why it's that exact combination of things. I don't know if it could be done with just two apples, but bottom line is I did it with one wild berry, one apple, and I was good to go. Carrot cake is any carrot, tabantha wheat, cane sugar, and goat butter. Pumpkin pie is gonna be any pumpkin, tabantha wheat, cane sugar, and goat butter. Cheesecake is gonna be a tano cheese, tabantha wheat, and cane sugar. Fruit pie is going to be any fruit except an apple, one tabantha wheat, one goat butter, and one cane sugar, because there's a specific version for an apple, which is the most American thing in this game. It's apple pie, which is one apple or a golden apple, one tabantha wheat, one goat butter, one cane sugar. You swap out an apple for a bird egg and you get an egg tart, which is a very different dish. So it, it's kind of weird that you go from a pie to a tart. But anyways, yeah, that's gonna be a bird egg, tabantha wheat, goat butter, and cane sugar. Milk is milk. <sighs> Noble Pursuit, which I always thought was an alcoholic beverage, it turns out it's not, is gonna be palm fruit, hydromelon, volt fruit, and a rock salt. Monster Stew is gonna require you to get monster extract from Tarrytown or wherever you wanna source that from. One meat and one fish. Monster Soup is gonna be four exact ingredients. One tabantha wheat, one goat butter, one fresh milk, and one monster extract. Uh, apparently I threw in a fifth ingredient and it still accepted the recipe, which is neat. Monster curry is gonna be a Hylian rice, Goron spice, and monster extract, exact ingredients. Monster rice balls, which is a pretty cool band name if you ask me, is gonna be a Hylian rice, rock salt, and monster extract, exact ingredients. The famous monster cake is gonna be a tabantha wheat, cane sugar, monster extract, and goat butter, exact ingredients. And new to this game is gonna be the variety of dark dishes, including the dark stew, which is a dark clump, one meat, and one fish. A dark soup, which is gonna be a dark clump, tabantha wheat, goat butter, and fresh milk, exact ingredients. Dark curry, which is gonna be a dark clump, goron spice, and Hylian rice, exact ingredients. Dark rice ball, which is gonna be dark clump, rock salt, and Hylian rice. Dark cake, which is gonna be dark clump, cane sugar, tabantha wheat, goat butter, exact ingredients. Dubious food is any two things that don't supposed to go together, such as, such as cooking additives like dark clumps or olive oil, cooking additives or food mixed with monster parts or monster parts on their own or insects on their own. Rock hard food is achieved via cooking either wood or any type of ore. And now we make our way onto the baked dishes, which is just gonna require you to take this one item 
put it either on fire or put it on the ground in a place that's currently on fire. My favorite place to do this, little tip by the way, is gonna be this shrine right here, right next to Goron City, because I didn't destroy all the stones. So as soon as I spawn in, I'm surrounded by stones and it's gonna be safe inside of there. Baked apple is an apple, baked golden apple is a golden apple, charred pepper is a pepper. Oh, by the way, real quick, charred pepper, be careful when you're charring this because I think when it becomes charred, it, it maybe does like a big fire explosion. Uh, I had a whole bunch of places fly everywhere, so be careful with that. Roasted Hylian tomato is a Hylian tomato. Roasted wild berry is a wild berry. Roasted volt fruit is a volt fruit. Roasted hydromelon is a hydromelon. Baked palm fruit is a palm fruit. Roasted mighty bananas is mighty bananas. Roasted lotus seeds is lotus seeds. Roasted mighty thistle is mighty thistle. Roasted amaranth is amaranth. Roasted swift carrot is a swift carrot. Roasted endura carrots an endura carrot. Baked fortified pumpkin is a fortified pumpkin. Baked sun pumpkin is a sun pumpkin. Making this I think the only dish that requires you to have a sun pumpkin, which is going to be after the quest in Hateno Village. Roasted radish is a radish. Roasted big radish, you guessed it, big radish. Toasty sky shroom is a sky shroom. Toasty hylian shroom is a hylian shroom. Toasty staminella shroom is a staminella shroom. Toasty rush shroom is a rush shroom. Toasty sun shroom is a sun shroom. Toasty chill shroom is a chill shroom. Toasty zap shroom is a zap shroom. Toasty razor shroom is a razor shroom. Toasty iron shroom is an iron shroom. Toasty silent shroom is a silent shroom. Toasty bright cap is a bright cap. Toasty Endura Shroom is an Endura Shroom. Toasted Hardy Truffle is a Hardy Truffle. Toasted Big Hardy Truffle is a Big Hardy Truffle. Seared Steak is a raw meat. Seared Prime Steak is going to be a prime meat. Seared Gourmet Steak is going to be a gourmet meat. Roasted Bird Drumstick is a drumstick. Roasted Bird Thigh is a thigh. Roasted Whole Bird is a whole bird. Roasted Arowana is an Arowana. Roasted Bass is a bass. Roasted Trout is a trout. Roasted Carp is a carp. Roasted Porgy is a porgy. Roasted Cavefish is a cavefish. Roasted Hearted Bass is a hearty bass. Roasted hearty salmon is a hearty salmon. Blackened crab is a crab. Sneaky river escargot is a <laughs> sneaky river snail. Roasted tree nut is a chickaloo tree nut. Roasted acorn is an acorn. Campfire egg, be careful because you have to take an egg and then you have to put it on the ground safely. That way it doesn't break. A hard boiled egg requires you to go to a hot spring inside of the Elden region. Once you're at that hot spring, you're gonna put the egg inside of the water and then it's gonna be hard boiled. For icy ingredients, you have to take that ingredient, put it on the floor, and then throw some ice at it. There you go. Icy meat is gonna require a raw meat. Icy prime meat requires a prime meat. Icy gourmet meat requires a gourmet meat. Frozen bird drumstick is a bird drumstick. I don't know how Link can eat that. It literally says it's hard as a rock, but it's supposedly edible. Frozen bird thigh is a bird thigh. Frozen whole bird is a whole bird. I'm gonna stop telling you the ingredients when they're obvious. Frozen arowana, frozen bass, frozen trout, Frozen carp, frozen porgy, frozen cave fish, frozen hardy bass, frozen hardy salmon, frozen crab, frozen river snail. And now we're making our way to elixirs. Elixirs are going to require any monster part and one corresponding insect, or as I call them, critters. For an energizing elixir, you have to have any monster part and an energizing critter. So I used a grasshopper for that. Hasty elixir requires any monster part and one hasty critter, such as a frog or a high-tailed lizard. Spicy elixir is gonna require any spicy insect, such as summer wing butterfly or a warm darner and a monster part. Chili elixir is gonna require a chili insect, like a winter wing butterfly, a monster part. Electro elixir is gonna require any electro insects, such as the butterflies or darners, and a monster part. Fireproof elixir requires either the fireproof lizard or the sizzle wing butterfly and a monster part. A mighty elixir is going to require the only mighty insect in the game, being the rhino beetle and one monster part. Tough elixir requires a tough insect and a monster part. Sneaky elixir requires sneaky insects and monster parts. Sticky elixir, you're either gonna use the frog or the lizard with the monster part. Bright elixir is going to be any amount of the depth fireflies and a monster part. Enduring elixir is going to be the tireless frog and a monster part. Hardy elixir is going to be a hardy lizard and a monster part. And a fairy tonic is going to be a fairy. And then you could cook some other stuff in there too, but as long as there's a fairy, it's typically gonna be a fairy tonic. Or if you're like me, you already got that from Beetle. Great, I couldn't have gone through this any faster and my throat hurts. If you're thankful for this, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications on your way to 100%ing Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you so much for being here. Until next time, Austin John out.